what I'm about to say, a lot of people probably won't understand this. Those people who who understand this, uh, they will definitely understand what I'm saying. Now today, a friend of mine just got back um, from, you know, he's been on vacation and he's in Omaha, Nebraska. He's from Nebraska or no, in Omaha, I don't know, in Nebraska. So he gets back from Nebraska and we sitting down talking, you know, and uh, somehow we ended up on the subject of white people. And and I was telling him, and he pretty, pretty much agreed that we know, we know good white people. We know bad white people. And in his line of business, he comes across white people every day that drop the N-bomb on him constantly. So, taking these Paul's cough drops. So, um, get back to the subject. He said, after this election, and I agree with him, you look at white people differently. And I want to explain, because I know a lot of white people watch this show, and a lot of white people know me. And it's not as if you got to look at white people differently because there's a black president. It's because we never thought there would ever be a black president. I did not think that enough white people would actually vote for this man to make him the president of the United States of America. If every black person would have voted for him and that was it, he would not have been enough people for him to win the presidency. So, it comes to this conclusion, there was a lot of white people that voted for Barack Obama, not because he was a Democrat or because he was black it's because they figured he would be the best person for the job and in my entire life I didn't think a large group of white people would ever feel that way getting to my point in saying what I just said what do you want there's no food in this bowl and you're a little weenie dog weenie dogs are not supposed to eat food human food you can get worms all kind of stuff can happen when you steal my food and you eat my food, man. I'm trying to do videos and you're whining, man. Come on. Come on, dude. What? You look at me like that now? Let me do my video. What I mean by this? But No, you can't have a Hall's cough drop, no. Give me that cough drop paper. No. No cough drops or cough drop paper. No. What I'm trying to say is this. I didn't think there would be... Put like this. A friend of mine says, 90% of all blacks voted for Barack Obama. And like he was mad. He's still a friend though. He understands. We gotta move forward. He's the only president we have. So, getting back to my point, I didn't think. I'm gonna be honest. There are good and there are bad people. In my lifetime, I have seen more bad, quote unquote, white people than good white people. I did not think, in any fathom of my imagination, that there's that many good white people. And I am sorry. To say that, just because you voted for Obama do not make you a good white person. It do not make you a bad white person either. But what I'm trying to say is, I didn't think there would be that many people in the United States of America whose mind is not clouded or shut down. Now, let me say something, one more thing about the political situation here in our country. Now, in Nebraska, somehow, um, you know, the governor of California showed up and was campaigning for McCain. And this is how funny our country is. No one explains something to you. This man himself is from Nebraska. He thought, just like everyone else in Nebraska thought, why in the hell is Arnold Schwarzenegger rooting for McCain when he's a Democrat? You understand what I'm saying? They thought because the governor of California 
you know, is from California or whatever, that he would be automatically a Democrat because he's the governor of California. So a large amount of people in Nebraska was under the impression that the Democrats were turning on Barack Obama because the governor of California came out and was rooting for John McCain. So what does that teach you about the political situation in our country? That's why a lot of people said Barack is a Muslim. Barack is this. Barack is that. I bet you you can go all over the country and there be pockets of news that are different than here in California, than in New York, or on the coast. I bet you the coast is completely different than the Middle East. The Middle East America. Mid, middle, the Mid-East America. The middle of America. The middle center of our country. The Middle East. The center of our country. Middle America is completely different than, than the outsides. And till we all on the same page, shit like this will be able to happen all over the place. Now, something else this man was telling me that this time he took a train back. And he had noticed that they're going to be going through national parks. And you know, United States National Park, if you want to go camping, you go camping at a national park, right? He's going through this national parks and they see all these do not enter signs going up. The guy on the train that was sitting next to him told him that uh, one of our politicians or somebody or whatever gave those parks to United Nations. Now, United States national parks in the hands of United Nations. And he noticed military shit going in and out. They're in a train and he saw a convoy of military shit going. Then he also told me he heard on the train that there's been proof that so-called Obama was born in Kenya. Feeding into all these um, quote-unquote conspiracy theories, if Obama is not an American, therefore he cannot be president of the United States of America. He just won the presidency. The election will be thrown out. Thus, Leaving us with George W. till the next election, or until they can get an election together. I told him like this, and then he told me. Obama got until the 20th to come up with a birth certificate. So, when he told me this, my conspiracy theory button kicked in. Can you imagine if they find out that Barack Obama is not an American and throw the election out? There will be riots in the street because people won't believe it. Thus, they can fire up all those damn FEMA camps, haul us off, and start their martial law. I don't know. That's a theory. Who cares? Moral of the story is this. I did not think there were that many good, quote-unquote, white people. And just because you voted for Obama, that don't make you a good white person. What I'm saying in general is, in my lifetime, i would seen so much hatred towards my people, I didn't think there would be enough of the other people who would even give a damn about a man of color or to even believe that he could lead us till tomorrow. And that's what I'm thanking Obama for. Regardless of anything else, I've learned that white people aren't all the same and hopefully Obama has taught white people that not all black people are the same the stereotypical black man I'm scared of stereotypical quote unquote neo Nazi white kid I'm scared of these same people who are outrageous who are good or who are evil in our society the only thing wrong with them and us is they don't know and the lack of knowledge like between here and Nebraska, the governor of California don't necessarily have to be a Democrat because of California. That was completely stupid. Just like those people in New York were telling, you know, uh, Howard Stern's guy about all the Obama package, which was actually the McCain, McCain package they were giving him. People are different. People are always better than what we think they are. And sometimes when we get our eyes open, we learn. You've been too.